Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, first of all, I want to say Happy New Year to everyone and I hope everyone's New Year is getting off to a good start. And I also wanted to give a big thanks to all of you who commented on the previous video on uh, what charge controller should I upgrade to. I had it stuck in my head that I needed a a much bigger controller because I'm adding a second string of uh, panels and I, ha I currently have uh, five 100 watt panels tied into my what will be the first controller and it's actually up and running still and based on so many comments that I got from all of you about why not just Go with another M, uh, EP Ever 40 amp charge controller. Something I hadn't even considered because I've never done that before. So I was not that familiar with it, even though I've watched some videos on it. It just hadn't sunk into me until some of you were explaining to me very simply how it could be done. And so I quickly decided on just adding a second EP Ever 40 amp controller for the second string of panels that I'm going to be running. It's going to be super easy to do, um, uh, which is a, a real good reason just to go with this, the, the ease of it. The other thing is, is I really know how to program this now after I've been running one for quite a long time. It did take me a while to learn uh, all the charging parameters uh, for the uh, lithium batteries. But now that I have that down, uh, this was just kind of a no-brainer, but it did not dawn on, to, dawn on me until a bunch of you have said that. So I appreciate all of the comments, which I got a lot of, and I really enjoyed uh, listening to what all of you are running on your systems and the pros and cons of the various charge controllers you're using. But I decided to go with the second EP ever, 40 amp controller and right now I've made a template that I'm drawing everything out on and measuring my wires before I have to go into the utility room so everything will be ready just to to put it all into place I'm gonna have everything color-coded this go around all the proper sized wire it's gonna get cleaned up quite a bit and look quite nice so I'm very excited about that and one of the other things that I'm going to do uh, with this, I had a, a couple of uh, shutoff switches that I was going to use uh, just to turn the panels off if I needed to, disconnect them from the solar uh, array and the charge controller. But what I decided to go with was uh, one of these, these rail type breakers. And they're a positive and negative breaker, as opposed to some of those switches, you're only connecting up the hot line uh, and then just turning that off. Uh, that would have worked for these purposes, but I decided to go with uh, the much safer and actually very easy to install uh, rail uh, breaker systems. So positive and negative, and same here on the bottom. Uh, from the panels straight in there from the bottom up to the charge controller it's got some knockouts on the side to run your wires and I've got this one mounted just so you can see how it looks and then I'll mount this other one just like that and each five panel string will have its own breaker so pretty pretty happy about that I'm gonna put that in there and like I said, I'm just using this as a template and all my bus bars and the Victron uh, 30 amp controller. I'm going to trace it all out, find out exactly how much wire I need to connect from point A to point B and make it the most efficient and use as short of wire runs as I possibly can. So pretty excited about all of these upgrades coming up. Big thanks to everybody again. I just can't tell you how impressed I was with all of you responding to 
just add a second 40 amp for the second string. Perfect. And since the weather's been good the past couple of days, as you can see, I've got my second string uh, basically framed in. I've got just a little bit more to do to have it completely framed in. And then I will easily add the other panels that I've got ready to go. So that's just going to be so nice. This bottom string goes to one breaker and one charge controller. That second string will be to a separate breaker and a separate charge controller. These are all tied in series, 100 watt panels each. So going from 500 to 1,000 in just a couple of days. And while I'm thinking of it, I'll just say one other thing. I did get the uh, 40 amp controller with the MT50 as part of the kit. You can just buy the controller. I went ahead, I want the second MT50 because uh, as easy as this is to program uh, with the MT50, not so easy without it if you're using just the uh, module itself. Can be done, definitely not as uh, user friendly as the MT50. And the MT50 is so nice because just at a glance you can see exactly what everything's doing. And if you just want to change your parameters a little bit, super easy to do. So this is the existing uh, system right now. And as you can see, I've got wires that are too long and a couple, couple of them not co color coded property. I've got all the right stuff now in place. Going to probably put those charge controllers right there, right where the solar's coming in. And then I'm going to reconfigure every everything. Everything's going to get moved a little bit, which is why I'm doing uh, the template system. Uh, when I was hooking this all up originally, uh, you know, I was just kind of hit and miss and getting it up and running as fast as possible. So uh, we wouldn't be without power. Uh, but now it's time to tighten it all up, shorten those runs, and make it all look sweet. So everything's working just fantastic. Uh, couldn't ask for anything to be working better. Sunshine coming in near 75% full for the day. So it's a great solar day. Happy if you're wondering what those little specs on my battery are. That's gecko poo. <laughs> so that's what it currently looks like with just one controller and one MT50, but I'm going to drop that down, shorten the runs quite a bit. I'm not going to need this much wire at all anymore. I'm going to get them nice and close to the breaker and, and the bus bars. And it's just a gorgeous day here today, so time to get some work done. Get this system really humming along here. And it's going to look good. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Again, thanks so much for all the uh, fantastic comments. Some of you went just, you know, bent over backwards to help me understand. I really appreciate that. Aloha, everybody. I'll show you what it looks like here in the next few days.